Welcome to a world where three iconic giants, McDonald's, KFC, and Coca-Cola have taken great measures to protect their legacies. Beneath the surface, they've built their very own World War III vaults, stocked with confidential recipes and flavors that have shaped generations. But what are they really hiding? With talk of future conflicts rising, the question remains, Will these vaults safeguard their empires, or do they contain mysteries that could change everything? Come inside and discover the unknown behind the ultimate fast food fortresses. Social media is filled with posts claiming that big brands like McDonald's, KFC, and Coca-Cola are funding for the war. And while many people are indifferent toward this information, it is true. All these brands are taking extreme measures to ensure their survival when the war happens. The most fascinating examples of this are the secret vaults that they have built to protect their most valuable assets, their recipes. That's right, these companies have built underground bunkers to store the secret formulas that make their food so delicious. KFC's original recipe is stored in a vault at the company's headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. If the rumors are true, it is protected by multiple alarms, motion detectors, and video cameras, and only the most authoritative and trusted people in the company have access to it. In launching original recipe strips, we had to go in and look for that recipe. Uh, we had to go into the vaults, and we found as we did that, that in fact, uh, the security around the vaults wasn't where it should be. Similarly, McDonald's has taken measures to protect its own proprietary information. Located at its headquarters in Oak Brook, Illinois, McDonald's vault contains the secret recipe for its iconic special sauce. It also contains other valuable information that the company wants to keep secure. And what do you think this information is? KFC and McDonald's being the first in list, many major brands are now making these bunkers to keep their intellectual property protected. But from what? These food companies and brands are not the only ones preparing for war. Around the world, there are also vaults for storing seeds and animal tissues, along with genetic human makeup. The most famous one is the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, located deep inside a mountain in Norway. This vault stores seeds from over 5 million crop varieties from around the world. What's interesting is that the name of this vault is also Doomsday Vault. In it, you will find seeds for millions of crops from around the world. It is designed to withstand a variety of potential threats. From natural disasters and climate change to nuclear war, there is nothing that can destroy it. And the main focus here is nuclear war, because that's the main thing this vault is designed to withstand. Here, the seeds are stored at a temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius. In the event of a cataclysmic occurrence, this would stay and preserve these seeds for how long? We have minus 18 Celsius in here. It would go up to minus 8, minus 7 after a few years. Moreover, these seeds are packaged carefully in special foil bags to make sure they stay safe for a long, long time. This vault is managed by the Norwegian government in collaboration with the Global Crop Diversity Trust and the Nordic Genetic Resource Center, highlighting the international effort to preserve the world's crop diversity. The idea behind this vault is to protect the world's agricultural heritage in the event of a global catastrophe like a nuclear war and it's going to happen sooner than you think. All the major brands know this after all. They are the ones behind this war. And it is not just plants that are being protected. Clearly, there are also vaults that store animal species. A major name is the Frozen Zoo Project at the San Diego Zoo. This project involves freezing the cells of animal species. The goal is to bring them back to life in the future, when the war wipes them off this planet for good. After all, a nuclear war will forever change the biodiversity of this planet. No animals will survive it. The animal tissue and cells in this vault come from over 400 species of animals. Undoubtedly, after the war, the frozen zoo will be used in the future to bring back extinct species. However, these organizations and brands don't understand that after the nuclear war, the Earth will not be habitable for any animal or human species. So, it is hopeless to try maintaining biodiversity and protect animals from the after effects of World War III. But when you address this issue in public or on social media, these brands deny all of this. There is no other explanation as to why these big brands and organizations 
are going to such great lengths to prepare for the worst? The answer is simple, they're gearing up for World War III. Thanks to all these major brands, a third world war is not only possible, but inevitable, and it will have devastating consequences for humanity. Big brands like KFC and McDonald's are not just preparing for their own survival, but are also funding efforts to prepare for the war. How? Many, if not all, of the world's largest food companies are also major suppliers of food to the military. It's true, and it's a profitable business for them. In fact, companies like KFC and McDonald's have made millions of dollars supplying food to the military in recent years. Many countries in the East have already started boycotting food from these brands to stop war. There are campaigns after campaigns that inform consumers to stop buying food from these brands and organizations. And it is not just the food companies that are involved. There are so many other big brands from technology companies to pharmaceutical companies that are also playing a role in preparing for the war. These companies are developing military technologies and manufacturing military equipment. And as if that's not enough, these companies are also providing funding for military research and development. All of the recent progress in the military movement is thanks to these companies that are the backbone of these movements. Anyway, what does this mean for us, the consumers? It means that the next time we bite into a juicy KFC chicken sandwich or enjoy a Big Mac from McDonald's, we must know what these brands are planning to do. And that's starting World War III, not satiating your food or health issues, or developing technology to ease the daily life for people. These brands are thinking about how to survive in a world that is about to end, and that's all because these brands are behind ending this world. Most importantly, this conspiracy goes along and deeper than just the food industry or tech organizations. Even when you are harmlessly using a mobile phone or taking your medication, there's a company behind every product that plays a role in preparing for the war. These companies have no interest in world peace or safety. They are thinking about how to protect their own interest, even if it means contributing to the devastation of humanity. One by one, every brand is creating a doomsday vault to safeguard their secrets. Take Coca-Cola, for example. It was one of the top consumer-friendly brands who were promoting world peace. But now, it also has a vault at its headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. As said by the rumors, the formula for this famous soft drink is what's under lock and key here. Following the lead set by Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper also followed suit. Their vault is in Plano, Texas. Its recipe is also very well protected here. And while the rumor said that these vaults have the formulas of these brand recipes, the truth could be so much darker than we know. If you consider the tight security that is placed on these vaults, it is very possible that these vaults are hiding so much more than just the identities and success recipes of these brands. If you question these brands, they say that they are part of a larger trend towards risk management. They say that today, the risk for potential natural disasters and climate change is very high, so that they're doing all they can to keep their brands safe from these natural disasters. So it is up to us consumers to be smarter than these brands and know that they are trying to cause a man-made disaster. In fact, these brands are not just trying to cause a man-made disaster, but also securing their intellectual property so that they can continue to operate even in the face of a war. Besides, if it was just about brand recipes, there'd be no doubt. But the fact that organizations are trying to protect genetic material from plants and animals is a short sign that they are preparing for the worst. And in this case, the worst is World War III, a nuclear catastrophe. It is very possible that they want to wipe half or more than half of the world while maintaining biodiversity and food security for them. And the darkest secret behind this trend is that there's a facility that is preserving genetic material of humans. This facility is the National Ice Core Laboratory, situated in Lakewood, Colorado. This laboratory stores ice cores from various locations around the world which contain ancient DNA and other biological material. The ice cores are kept at a temperature of around minus 36 degrees Celsius and are protected by advanced security measures. Aside from protecting human DNA, these ice cores are also given sight into climate management and ecosystem maintenance. With help of these insights, scientists can change the climate of any region to suit their needs. For example, a land that is destroyed by nuclear radiation can be revived to grow life again. 
Do you think that scientists have succeeded in changing the climate of any region according to their will? It's a scary thought, but it's one that we need to consider. As consumers, we must know that these companies are in power because we give it to them. So the next time you're deciding where to eat or what product to buy, you need to remember that you are not just making a choice about your own life. You're also playing a part in the fate of humanity. Do you think big brands are building vaults, funding military efforts, and developing technologies to prepare for World War III? If so, what do you plan to do about it? Leave your thoughts in the comments and share this video along with your friends and family.